the day that we spent out at Paleo was was definitely a highlight for me. It was uh, probably one of my favorite days in a long, long time. In what seems like a bit of a theme in the north about just that community connection, Dave gives us a call and says that he's got a friend who happens to be a pilot with an A-star at his house at this moment. So he says that He's got this opportunity for us to go up to this Paleo Peak, a little bit north of town, another spot that he had never been to before. We noticed from our first day out in the mountains this huge peak in the distance, and we're like, what is that? And it just happens that we also have enough room to bring Brad along. So it was this awesome opportunity to bring, you know, both the people that were showing us around in both communities and do something that all of us had never done before. Excitement was high for sure. It was like kind of the culmination of all the spots that we had hit and we'd gotten everyone together and we had just kind of our pick of the terrain. <laughs> that day we got to ski some kind of amazing bigger north facing lines as well as ski some nice cruisy corn down some south facing glaciers and, and then even some stuff off the north side skiing down behind some big ice and some big rock. we were almost on another planet. There was a rock that's not normally kind of our Smithers sort of rock. The views were stunning and it was pretty cool. You were able to lay down these massive, like big GS race turns. It was exciting to, you know, to, uh, to participate, but I was equally excited just to watch. We skied this little zone at the end of the trip that Anna had spotted from the helicopter earlier that day. Getting to see that, uh, that last run with the, with the athletes was, was super cool, and I know Brad enjoyed it. Shed its light on the face, and yeah, we ripped it, and heard the cheers from Brad and Dave, like, I don't know, hundreds of metres away, so that was a pretty cool end to the trip. I won't say I could hear Brad while I was skiing, but I could hear him enough that it was like ingrained in my head that I knew I was making a turn there and it would just be like, Brad's probably going, woo, yeah. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Yeah, the guy just makes you want to go skiing. Woo -hoo! <laughs> Jared it down through there. And just to kind of have us all together in those last few hours, it was just a great time. You have Brad skiing down the hill, hooting and hollering the entire time. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> and, you know, we, we just, we didn't want it to end. And he's out. So on our last day, we ended up meeting up with the snowboarders. We'd all kind of went up to Northern British Columbia together and then went on our own separate journeys and it was, Great to meet back up and just kind of see how every, everything had gone. Heard you guys caught a bunch of crabs? Yeah. 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 One, One huge crab. <laughs> 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 Woo! Woo! It was super fun to trade stories from the last two weeks, and then we all went up to Hudson Bay Mountain and got to kind of make some laps together and then ultimately uh, race in the skier border cross, which the mountain was hosting. I've never skied skier cross since I was 14. I get nervous <laughs> by all the people around me. <laughs> Come on, baby. 
Yeah, we got the whole shot. Bo is in the lead, and I just managed to pass him. Last gate on the inside. Well, the first race, I gotta say, I was really surprised to see how fast the boarders were out of the gate. They were quick, and Rasmin ended up winning the first round, and uh, that kind of made me think I gotta really step my game up here and ride a cleaner line. I'm not gonna let these snowboarders beat the skiers, so that, uh, that took us into round two. Very, uh, very respectable effort from the boarders, but, you know, the skiers came out on top. Nice one. Good job. <laughs> yeah, the towing up on the mountain was super fun. It's just a bunch of families out there having having fun cheering each other on. So it was it was really similar to Shames as well, where it's just, you know, the people, everyone's up there for the right reasons and it's just friends and family ripping around. It's what, what skiing should be. Kind of just this amazing wrap up to our adventure in the north. I think the thing that I loved most, most about being up north was the people and how welcoming they were. For me, when people are asking kind of how the last two weeks was, it, it's just a nice slower pace up there and I would say that it's just everyone up there is super inviting and, uh, and really accommodating. We're very proud of what is here and what we offer. Any time you can incorporate somebody new into that circle, it just grows, so it's, it, it benefits everybody.